Shabbat Shalom, everybody. Hallelujah. Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat, 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 Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat, Shabbat, Shabbat Shalom. I'm up early again with Father on my mind. Hallelujah. It's Sabbath here where I am. Hallelujah. I'm not in Israel, but I'm in the land of the living. Are we riding up on the high places of the earth as promised? I believe I'm riding on the high places of the earth. Hallelujah. So it gives me so much joy that I can come on this wonderful Sabbath morning to bless our Father and to ask his blessings upon you and to be reminded that he is speaking to us in these last days by his beautiful son, the Messiah. Hallelujah. I'm going to read from Isaiah 58. Father said we would ride upon the high places of the earth. And we know that this week's reading is talking about Jacob and Esau, but that's, I'm not going to talk about them this morning. I'm just going to go by what Father is sharing. But Jacob, is he riding up on the high places? Name change to Israel? And when we all hear the name Israel, we rejoice. We say, the king of Israel, he has heard our voices. We say, we must pray for the peace of Jerusalem. And we pray for that peace. Israel has a high place in this earth. Hallelujah. And Father has blessed the United States of America. And if we keep on praying and seeking his face, there are many other things he, our God of Israel, the creator, will do in our lives and in our families. Did any of you lead anybody to the Messiah this week? On, on the day we were given thanks, I can tell you that I rejoice because I had that joy of reminding someone that they had accepted Messiah a long time ago. Hallelujah. They accepted Jesus. And so therefore, I said you accepted Jesus, so you already have Yahushua. But let us say, confess his name. Hallelujah. Ask him into your heart. And I just, it's been a great weekend. So now, Bless you all, every one of you, with your wonderful selves, created by Father. And I can say, yes, you are wonderfully and fearfully made. That's what the word says. Hallelujah. And if you're doing things right, Father is blessing you on every day in the week. So Isaiah 58, the first part of it says, cry aloud. Do not spare and lift up your voice like a ram's horn and declare to my people their transgressions and the house of Yaakov their sins. So that's what we have to do. And you have to tell your sister, your brother, when they are not doing what is right, if they have Jesus in their heart, or they have Yeshua in their heart, and if they have Yahushua, these different names, then and you see them doing something wrong, you need to tell them about it. And they may hate you, but that hate will turn into love. Hallelujah, when they discover what you have done. So are you riding up on the high places of the earth? Meaning, do you know that you are a success? Do you know how wonderfully made you are? Do you know that Father forgave all of your sins when you confessed him and asked for forgiveness? Do you know how beautiful you are? Do you know how handsome you are? Hallelujah. Do you know that you are walking around with the glory of the most high in you? 
Hallelujah. Do you know that he's watching out for your family, your children? Hallelujah. Do you know the angels are writing down in their books when you're talking about Father, thinking on his name? So Isaiah uh, 58 says that if you do turn back your foot from the Sabbath, from doing your pleasure on my set-apart day, and shall call the Sabbath a delight. It is a delight. Hallelujah. Ah, oh, it's a delight to be alive, to be able to say that it is a delight. Glory. The set apart day of Yahuwah esteem, and shall esteem it not doing your own ways, nor finding your own pleasure, nor speaking your own words. Now listen to you. Then he said, then you shall delight yourself in Yahuwah. And I shall cause you to ride on the heights of the earth and feed you with the inheritance of Yaakov, your father. For the mouth of Yahuwah has spoken. Hallelujah. He promised us. And so what are we doing for him? We always come and maybe ask for prayer and we petition him. So what are we doing for this wonderful King of Kings, hallelujah, that has laid his life down for you? Are you worth it? Of course you are. If he laid his life down for you, he wants to help you to understand your destiny if you do not already understand. He already gave you the call and now he bringing you to the place of understanding. So I thank Father this morning. I just wanted to come here and, and just be a blessing. And, and I'm just so blessed that Father has given us an opportunity that we can share. And we love to read uh, Hebrews 11, faith chapter. But I'm going to read the first chapter in Hebrew or Hebrews this morning. And I'm just going to read it. And maybe something in that first chapter will be a blessing to you. Just be a blessing to someone. If you know of a, a person that's keeping the Sabbath, you should call them up and, and say, I'm just so blessed. I'm not doing the Sabbath, but I'm just blessed to know that you truly are trying to follow the, the pattern that's in the book. And maybe those of you that keep the Sabbath should call somebody that's not keeping the Sabbath and just tell them that you love them because they're your family members, they're your friends, because lots of people do not, under, do not realize that we have the same Messiah. They think because we say another name that we're doing a whole new thing. No, we are not. Hallelujah. We have received the seed of the word, and the word began to grow in us. And as we grow, we learn, just like our babies that came into this earth when we first found out we were uh, the mother where that there's a, a growth going in in her a baby that is being formed out of the love and that baby gets uh, born into the earth that's the way your plan is that father has for you it has to go through certain stages and there are some pains and tears and turmoil but we Know that Father will get you to your destiny if you do not give up. So I'll read Hebrews and see, uh, uh, verse uh, chapter 1 and see if any of it will bless you today. It says, Elohim, having of old spoken in many portions and many ways to the fathers of the prophets. So we know here the fathers by the prophets that these are Hebrew people that kept the Sabbath. Hallelujah. And that the one we call Jesus, this is his inheritance, and this becomes your inheritance, has, has in these last days spoken to us by the Son, whom he has appointed heir of all, through whom also he made the ages. And so some, we know that the Son really did come here because our lives had changed so drastically. Verse 3, who being the brightness of the esteem and the exact representation of his substance and sustaining all by the word of his power and sustain, uh, 
his power, having made a cleansing of our sins through himself, sat down at the right hand of the greatness on high. I mean, this should make you shout that your sins, he has cleansed us from our sins. Hallelujah. He has blessed us, made a way for our children, made a way for our family members. Good morning, precious everyone. Hallelujah. He's making a way for us today, meeting us where we are. Verse 4, having become so much better than the messengers, as he has inherited a more excellent name than they. For to which of the messengers did he ever say, you are my son, today I have brought you forth. And again, I shall be to him a father, and he shall be to me a son. And when he be again brings the first, uh, firstborn into the world, he says, let all the messengers of Elohim do reverence to him. So all the messengers that Father has called and that understand the knowledge that they reverence the Messiah, cause the Messiah's father, but we reverence him and the messengers that he's calling, we are waking up and we carry these signs of the Sabbath and all of us that exhibit the fruits of the spirit haven't arrived at the same place. I say it all the time because I want to encourage those that are on the road and they are looking for a place to find more rest. They are looking for the place to rest from the test of the hardness of this life. They are looking for a place that can take away their strife. They are looking for the creator of all. They are looking for his son. They say, if I could rest a little while, this journey is so hard at times. But I know I'll be fine. Hallelujah. If I can rest between the tests that I go through. Hallelujah. 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 I'm reading Hebrews. Chapter one, I'm at verse seven. And of the messengers indeed, he says, who is making his messengers spirits and his servants of flame or fire? That's powerful there in itself. Verse eight, but to the son, he says, your throne, O Elohim, is forever and ever. A scepter of straightness is the scepter of your reign. Hallelujah. You have loved righteousness and hated lawlessness. Think about that for a moment. In verse 9, he loves righteousness. So those of us that are doing right, Father loves righteousness. Hallelujah. He loves the people that try to do the right thing and those that are successful in doing the right thing that the intents of their heart is leaning always to do the right thing, to try to please our Father, to let him know that you care. But he hate lawlessness. That's a, that's, that's a powerful word. That hate is not a nice, it don't make you feel happy when somebody say, I hate you. But when they say, I love you. You can feel the hugs and the warmth of the Most High. So verse 9 says, you have loved righteousness and hated lawlessness. Because of this, Elohim, your Elohim has anointed you with the oil of gladness more than your companions. 
Hallelujah. If you love righteousness, you ought to rejoice. And that's why we have joy that no one can take it from us because the God of Israel gave it to us. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Verse 10, and you, master, did found the earth <clears throat> in the beginning. <clears throat> Excuse me. And the heavens are the work of your hands. They shall perish, but you remain. And they shall all grow old like a garment. And like a mantle, you shall fold them up and they shall be changed. But you are the same and your years shall not fail. And to which of the messengers did he ever say, Sit at my right hand until I make your enemies a footstool for your feet. Are they not all servants, spirits sent out to attend those who are about to inherit deliverance? Do you know that people are waiting for the words to come from your mouth for their deliverance? You know that they've been talking to Father, saying, send us somebody that can just give us a cool drink of water in this earth. I thirst for righteousness sake. And Father said, you will, you will be filled. You will be given water to drink. So think about your family. It's like I was with my family. Hallelujah. And the joy that I had looking at the fact that I cooperated with Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father, for my husband. And was able to at least bring two children into this earth and they are productive. They love our Father. Hallelujah. So Father is desiring for you to know how important you are to his plan. If we all knew how amazing he has created us, I keep hearing <clears throat> things like this over and over, and it encourages me and gives me great joy to feel the love of Father in me and to feel the love coming from his people. Ooh, ooh, grandbabies kiss you, and ooh, that love. Your sons or your daughters kiss you and hug you. Ooh, you feel so loved. When your best friends hug you and talk to you or a stranger you meet that is not a stranger, you meet them in a supermarket and, and you are, some of us go off into tongues and some of us just light up and some of us just grin. You would think we done lost our minds. We grin and we're so happy to meet a like-minded spirit and we don't know what day anybody is doing a serving. We just feel in the Holy Spirit just touching us, hallelujah, and quickening us so we can recognize strangers that are running around with Father's Spirit inside of them and their face light up. And sometimes you can't help yourself. You say, may I hug you, please? May I, may I, what is your name? Sometimes we just smile and keep on going. But I tell you all, encourage your family to get to know Yahushua, Jesus, Yeshua. Get to know so they'll come in out of the world system. And then they will come into Father's government, his kingdom of righteousness, and will be used hallelujah, as a warrior who have been out there or missed a whole lot of junk and can read worldly people like, like nothing. They're gifted to read worldly people and to have compassion to try to get the people saved. Hallelujah. So we thank our Heavenly Father for you this morning. I pray that you would just rejoice because I, I just came to, the phone is ringing. I guess you could hear it. Well, this will be the first time I'm answering a phone on, on the phone on live. Hallelujah. Yes, son? Yes? Go ahead. I'll, oh, good. I'm so glad. You, you, okay. And I'm, uh, this is on the Facebook. I got, I'm on the phone with you. So it, was, it, was it getting there smooth? Okay, well, let me know when you arrive. I, 
I love you, dear. Shalom, shalom. Hallelujah. Well, I didn't intend it, but I know that my son was on his way to the air airport. Oh my goodness, I got so many hugs and so much joy. But listen, um, it is a Sabbath for those that are turning toward it. And for those that are not, I'm just happy that we are all alive today and that <clears throat> we have family members that we're trying to reach out to and to encourage them. Uh, some of our people, you know, that, that fire in, in California and different things are happening all over the world, but it's not on the news where you can see it. There are still waters and floods and different things throughout the earth. Different, the houses are still falling. And, you know, there's uh, um, what you call the um, plagues. There are different kind of plagues going on throughout the world. And so we want to encourage people to come into the shelter of safety. And this is the Sabbath. So Father said, pray that our flight be not on the Sabbath and not in the winter. And that is in his word. And that is forever. The Sabbath and the keep these are things that will happen forever. And so I just pray that you think about Jacob and Esau today. And they were twins. And how uh, Jacob went on to become, hallelujah, the uh, name used for the nation of Israel when Father changed his name because Father didn't let him give up. So because he wrestled with so many decisions and things that happened in his life, just like you, every one of us have wrestled and gone through something. It doesn't matter who we are. And it's an ongoing trying to find out, am I on the right path? And those that are on the right path, it is a joy because they know what they are called to do. They're not searching around. They're just trying to do it better. And so I know, Father, just want you to be blessed and think about him. Think about his son. Think about the angels. Think about uh, the, our people in scripture. Think about Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Think about these, uh, we call the world says the Jewish people. Think about the Jewish people. Think about the Hebrew people. Think about the Israelite people. And they're all one people because they all belong under the umbrella, the strangers, the foreigners. I just, I'm going to keep right on saying it. And all of the nation of Israel is called to teach the commandments and laws. And when you find that they are doing according to the word, you should rejoice. And if some seem angry or annoyed, it's because the scripture says that some of us would be angry and some of us would rejoice and some of us gonna have the commandments and laws and we don't have the spirit of our father and we just not gonna make it. So there'll be a whole bunch of people that think they got it and have the laws and they are gonna be laws. Some of, the, of us that don't have the laws at all, we are gonna be lost too, some of us. So we pray for the remnants of our father's people to get the truth and not turn from those messengers that he has sent. If, if, they, if you're messengers of the most high, he told you that you are, fl you are a flame. Hallelujah. You, his spirit is in you. And you are not anybody that can be pushed around because you're a messenger of the creator sent here to this earth to make a difference. And if we do not give up, we will make a difference. But I come out, just want to bless our Father. Father, bless you for setting aside this day. Thank you for how you created us. Thank you for, again, giving us families. Thank you for your word that comforts us, that bless us, that grooms us, that de delivers us, that develops us. Hallelujah, that comforts us that takes away distress. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Hallelujah, thank you for this rejoicing. Thank you for us being able to say shalom to each other this morning. I pray that you bless all the ones that will see this short video. I just want to share my joy with everybody because I feel really good that, that he thinks I'm worthy to be able to even 
speak his word and to eat his word and to talk about him all the day long and all the solutions and to our problems he has placed in here. You know, we always run to David and say, David, you did all those things, killing somebody and taking their wife. And look at you. And look at that, Rahab, the harlot. There's her name in the genealogy. I mean, look at this. This is just amazing that Father take all these different people from different walks. It seems like different walks of life, but with things going on in their lives. And then he takes them like he did, did you and me. And then he turns them into beautiful, so, such a beautiful uh, can, can, uh, canvas of love. And when people see you, they want to be near you. They want to hear your voice. And they'll say, you know, there's something about you. Oh, you just, you just touched my life. And then when they get in trouble, they call you on the phone saying, I, I just needed to talk with you. And so we pray that when they come, that you always give them food and food from the word and strength from the word and, and pray for those that are abused and pray for the men to not abuse their wives and the wives not, a, not to be the wives they should be. But this is a day, Sabbath is a day to rejoice, to relax from your housework, to put your housework aside and just talk to Father. Tell Father how beautiful he is, how wonderful he is. Mwah, kiss your father, hallelujah. If you don't want to kiss mwah, the air, go and find somebody you love and just kiss them on top of the head or just take their hand and just squeeze it and just say, I love you. So before I go off this, I'm saying to you here, I'm going to give you a great big hug. Oh, wow, this is my hug. My hug like this for you. Hallelujah. This is my handshake saying, I just love you. Hallelujah. This is my kiss for you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Just praise Father. Be happy all day long, you all. And just happy, have a happy Sabbath. Just blessing Father and blessing your family. Find a way to bless your family. Even if they don't, they, they don't believe that this day is what the word says it is, you don't have to demonstrate that you upset with them because they didn't do what you're doing. Just love them like a like a little baby that you hurt the little baby, not hurt the baby. What I mean is the baby cry for food, you give food. The baby's little feelings get hurt or the toddler's little feelings get hurt and then you comfort the toddler because they shouldn't have touched whatever it was. You know, we need to be like these children in that way. Let the mess roll off and be the lights in the earth. Blessings upon you. May Father bless you in supernatural ways today. And I pray that you touch and agree. Hallelujah, that all that are traveling this weekend back home, that our Heavenly Father would protect them going, protect them coming, and that when they go home, they'll find everything intact, and that they will have left such beautiful um, change in people's lives because they took time to reach out to their friends, to their neighbors, hallelujah, and to the stranger. Shalom upon you and bless you and just have a wonderful day. Enjoy your father. Enjoy your friends. Enjoy your, your family. May Yahuwah bless you and keep you. May his counsel, may Yahuwah's countenance shine upon you. And may he grant you peace and favor. Rejoice in him today. He loves you very much. Shalom, shalom. And thank you for just being a blessing here this morning. Hallelujah. Now I can't find how to go out. Just a minute. Hallelujah. Shalom, everybody. Have a blessed day. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.